What is up, Pokemon fans? I am Keith Franks of Cutlass Board Games, and for my day job, I design board games. And a lot of my experience comes from playing trading card games. And for a long time, one of the gaps in my knowledge was the Pokemon trading card game, which has a really cool online client that I had kind of tried out once before, and I've come back to recently to kind of properly learn how to play the game. Now, usually, um, I like to go through and learn other stuff to kind of have a look at what they've done and how things are built and what kind of synergies and stuff they're designing to the game. And I found myself actually really, really enjoying the deck building aspect of Pokemon TCG. Um, and what I have here to show off is something that I've built to kind of play around with and look at how the different maths of building a deck works and the different synergies and stuff like that. And then I'll show off some gameplay. But... The first thing to look at is, this is a Clefairy deck. The whole thing is about this Clefairy charging up your Pokemon with energy. Um, so, yeah, the main thing is, using this ability, you get to put an energy card onto each of your benched Clefairy. Now, if you have one benched Clefairy, you're adding one energy. But if you have three benched Clefairy, you're adding three energy. Um, and for each energy that you have attached to all of your Pokemon, the Clefairy's attack does 20 damage. So you want to consistently get as many Clefairy onto the bench on your first turn as possible. Um, and that's kind of how I've built the deck around being able to do that. Um, and then I have Ditto as my backup. So if I have three purple energy on Ditto, I can use Wonderstorm if there is a Clefairy in my discard pile. We then have Pyokumuku, um, which I can just cycle it. I can just put it on the bottom of my deck, draw a card. Which means that my deck is technically now 56 cards. Because um, that doesn't cost anything to do. Um, this is one where if one of my Clefairies is knocked out, I can move the Weird Deer to the Axios Pot, becomes my battling Pokemon. And then I put all of my psychic energy onto it to make it do a bunch of damage. Um, it's more like a the final ace in the hole kind of a thing. We then have Radiant Jirachi. This is one that just kind of ended up in there because I had one. <laughs> I, I scrolled through the trade listings a lot, seeing stuff that I can accept, and spotted this, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll grab that. Because uh, if this is your lead and it gets knocked out, you get to search your deck for three cards. And then for this deck that's highly synergistic, it means you just grab exactly what you need to kind of set up and then um, come back for the big attack. So we then have, uh, I've split these up because I have different arts for them, but we have Rescue Carrier, where I can put up to two Pokemon each with 90 HP or less from my discard pile into my hand. Now all of my Pokemon, with the exception of Weird Deer, have less, have less than 90 HP. So I can cycle the Jirachi a few times if I have to, um, but I can also just get my Clefairies back. And then the Escape Rope lets me swap active Pokemon with bench Pokemon, but with the Clefairy, this ability is only once per turn, but it's once per turn localized to each Clefairy. So if I Escape Rope and swap them, the new one that's just become active can use this ability as well, um, which means I can get even more energy out and your opponent has to switch their Pokemon. We then have Turbo Patch. This is one where it's like flip a coin, if heads, I get to put one of my psychic energy from my discard pile onto one of my Pokemon. It felt like a no-brainer, because I just want to have as many energy in play as possible. Uh, we then have Level Ball, which can search for pretty much any card in our any Pokemon in our deck. And then there's this card, which came out um, recently. I bought some sealed product to do, like eventually get me into this, and then I redeemed all the codes on the boosters. But this was one of the cards that came up, and looking at it, I was like, oh, this doesn't really make any sense. I don't, I really don't like the whole, you can only use this during your first turn. And then when I was building this deck, I was like, hang on a minute. I want to get Clefairy out as fast as possible. I want to have all my Clefairy out on the first turn. This is actually really good. <laughs> um, and it's very consistent. And we have Fog Crystal, which does the same thing. Search my deck for a Psychic Energy card, or... A basic psychic Pokemon. So it goes and gets Clefairy or a psychic energy. Um, we then have Hisuian Heavy Ball. Now what that does is I look at my prize cards and if there's a Clefairy in there, I swap the Heavy Ball with the Clefairy. 
So as soon as you search your deck and you only see three Clefairies in it, you know you have one in the prize pool, and then this is a good way to get it out, because you want to have all four of them. This is just card draw, and we have XP share. So this stops so much um, Psychic Energy going into the discard pile when something gets knocked out, and keeps it on the board, which is what I want. Uh, and then we have our energy. So like this isn't super powerful, and it's not super expensive either. Um, I just wanted something that was kind of fun, but the... The thing in it for me is not playing big things, dealing huge damage and winning the game. The thing for me is seeing how all the intricacies work together so I can learn the different parts of the game um, and really figure out what some of the complicated strategies could possibly be. Um, so we're going to run it in. We're going to run it into a game. Hmm. I have the escape route. So Ditto on the lead is not great, but I have the escape route. And Pikamoku never makes the bench, but sometimes has to be the active Pokemon, which is fine. Not a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna go and get a Club Fairy. I'm gonna maybe find one here. Nope. Hmm, let's put an energy in and pass, I guess. Not great. Both my escape route, like if I professor's research, I'd like actually lose a lot. I can't escape rope anymore. Which is not great. Interesting. Okay, well, we just have to do it, unfortunately. Double turbo energy. So I don't have an energy in the discard pile, unfortunately. But he can literally kill my active Pokemon. Hmm. That's not great. I might be in trouble. Go to 100. The downside of the Clefairy is that it has low HP. But you hope that it takes some time to set up. So that you can actually get an attack off. But so far, not looking good. That's actually fine. I mean, that's okay. We have Fog Crystal, but he kills my guy. Oh, he doesn't? He does the other thing. Uh, I have no abilities. So I can't use this. Oh, I can? Oh, because it's not. Oh, because it's V. Huh. That's interesting. Well, let's load up on some psychic energy. Um, there was another route I could have taken. If I had to put the Psychic Energy on one of these, I could have activated Moonwatching, retreated, uh, and then activated again, which is only plus one, but I put a bunch in the graveyard. It's not necessarily great. There we go, 160. Big attack. But if he does knock me out here, I'm in trouble. Okay, he's going to switch. Pokemon with the rule books have no abilities. Well, I have none of those. I have Weird Deer. Okay, so I have to be mindful that Weird Deer doesn't drag psychic energy with him when he becomes the active Pokemon. That's about it. Draw 
these two cards. Okay. So, let's draw a card. Get another Pokemon Crystal. I can't use it again. I can use it once per turn. Um, but what I am going to do is, I'm going to Fog Crystal, get an energy. Because I'm going to set up my other Clefairies to be able to attack later. And then from here on out, I want to be putting energy on Ditto. Because um, Ditto has a different weakness spread from Clefairy. And that can be advantageous. Um, in this case, not so much because he does have fighting types. Let's use Judge again. I think that's fine. Like, I lose Turbo Patch, but I have no energy in the graveyard. I lose Pukumoku. I draw a new one. Level Ball just gets me Jirachi, maybe, but I have all my Clefairy. And I got more energy. It's not really a big deal. So, yeah, what was that? I want to look at it. 30 more damage. Uh, if I had Pokemon V. You have no energy on this. So I get to one shot that. Which is pretty good. So the other um, advantage. And what you'll see here. Is that it pulls all of the psychic energy out of my deck. And so I start drawing things that are not psychic energy. And are useful cards. And my opponent conceded. This is great. This is a great start. Um, I won't ditto on the bench. So I've automatically got three out of four Clefairy. And escape ropes. So I probably can get a K on the first turn. No benches. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go. My opponent is impressed by my selection of Clefairy. <laughs> I'll email back with a with a smiley face. Um so it's like this. I'll save the escape rope shenanigans for next turn, but I'll play out my ditto. Stay dumb. And let's go for the kill next turn. Yeah, it does not resist psychic. And he plays the bench. He's playing the same deck as me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So, he can attack this turn, but only if he can get enough energy. But I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Alright, so. Moon watching party. An escape rope. Moon watching party. I guess I get two prize cards. And I think that's fine. Um, 60, 100, 140. It's not enough. It's not enough. So I get my last Clefairy out. And moon watching party again. <laughs> and then that is 200. So taking out one of the Clefairies has got to be a big step up for me. I honestly want to hit the Crobat, but hitting the Crobat for 160, not good. Can you get a Clefairy onto the bench? 
Honestly, if you can just add an extra psychic energy, you can kill my guy, but... Because I was able to more consistently set up on the first turn, I was able to get a quick lead and get quick damage onto my opponent. Okay, this is pretty good. I have two Clefairy. And I can draw with Pukumoku, so I might have three. Maybe. So I want to draw with this first, because I could draw a Clefairy. If I pull a Clefairy out of my deck, I have less chance of drawing a Clefairy. Ooh, and there is one in the prize pool. Good to know. So we'll go and get another one. Hmm. So he's probably going to Charmander and then use Collect. So I'm not super threatened, but I have to be wary about my Clefairy dying. Mm, that could be trouble if my board state was not identical, active and benched. The switch could be a problem, but maybe not. Okay, escape row. Not what I expected. It says going to start energy accelerating. God, this is such a monster of a first turn. Do this so that my draw is slightly better. So escape rope is really good here. We got fog crystal, we got level ball. So we go level ball and get Jirachi, I think. I don't have anything to rescue carrier, that's fine. Uh, let's go Pokemoku. We got Turbo Patch, and I have Energy in the bin. So if Turbo Patch hits, no. that's unfortunate. <laughs> but that's okay. I guess we wait. I guess I just let him kill one. Like, that's really bad, also. So I can activate if I need to. What do we got? 
So we got an escape rope. So that could be good. What's the retreat cost? Two. And he's got... Interesting. Interesting. So I'm going to put Ditto down. And then we're going to escape rope. So I get to kill the Charmander, and he brings back the Reshiram. Which is not great. Which is not altogether great. But I get a prize, and this could be Clefairy, this one? Nailed it. Okay. That helps a lot, actually. Maybe. I have a problem where I don't have that many Psychic Energy left in my deck, unfortunately. Um, which might be a problem. Oh, let's see how we go. Uh, let's draw a card. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I get one. I'll take this one. Not really that much, unfortunately. I just discarded too much because the professor and things dying. Um, this will only be 60, which is not a kill. 80 at best, unfortunately. But he can't attack. But he could retreat. Could retreat. Hmm. I think I'm just in trouble. <laughs> I'm just in a lot of trouble. I think I have to let him kill my Duranchu. And then let it activate. Wow, well, whole nother Charizard. Alright, buddy. Are you going to retreat though, or are you going to let me take two prize cards? Okay. Ooh, onto the Charmander. But if you switch to the Charizard, you get to kill my guy. Interesting choice. Um, it's running out. Nothing. Two psychic energy, though. Okay. Put on the ditto. Let's just confirm there is none. Donk. He lied to me. That's where he said the energy was. <laughs> Ah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. An escape rope would have been great there, actually. No, this is Simis here. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Why is he refraining from killing my stuff? Like, he just retreated to switch that out for like no reason. Let's go like this. Uh, Level Ball gets me a Pyokamuku. Which I can turn into a card draw. And then to Turbo Patch, which is what I wanted. But I whiffed. It's upsetting. So I go down to two prize cards. So I had a 50 50 shot of hitting an energy. I got one of them. So one of the cards left is an energy. He kills my Clefairy. Um. Good incinerator. I get to keep one, so I have a hundred damage here. Uh, yeah. I miss all my turbo patches, huh? That's fine. Because if I KO the Charizard, I win. Um, but I have a problem. I need to get two more energy onto the Ditto. 
So I have to draw something that's going to get me that energy. What is this? Oh, another Charizard. Oh, that's pretty odd. So he kills my Clefairy. Gets a prize. I'm going to run out Jirachi. He did not draw good. Let's play my Ditto and pass, I guess. I just have to let him kill it. Unfortunately. Go for it. Have you got a switch? Because if you switch into my Ditto, I concede. It puts me in an unwinnable state. But no. Okay. So he does a million damage to my Jirachi, and I get to search my deck for any cards. Um. Oh. I'm in trouble. Fort Weirdia. Okay, so we need to do some math. So, this does 40 damage for each energy attached to it. So with 3 energy, it's 120. 120 is enough to kill this. So I will retreat. Because this is only 80 damage, and that is not enough. Switch in Weird Deer. And then give Weird Deer all the energies. And then donk my opponent. Winning the game. Even though I really shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have won the game. I don't know if it looked like it, but... This is my first week of playing Pokemon TCG and really learning how to play. Um... The Clefairy deck was something that, when I was kind of playing around with stuff, I encountered. I mean, this is really cool. This is a card that demands you to build a deck around it. Um, especially because Clefairy... Well, usually because basic Pokemon that aren't the, like, the full art, V, V Max, and stuff like that, um, usually expect you to evolve onto it to make stuff. Um, this one was something that felt like I could build around. Um, and I bought like a starter kit thing, uh, like of the physical product. And when I took it home and I built out a whole bunch of stuff in it, there was a few cards in it. There was the, the VIP, um, which gets you only on the first turn some Pokemon onto your bench. There was the Fog Crystal, which gets a Psychic type Pokemon or a Psychic Energy. Um, and there was Pukumuku. And I'm like, man. Pukumuku, you just basically cycle this into a new card every single time. And then when I encountered the Clefairy, I was like, hang on a minute, I've learned these three cards that feel like they want to be in exactly that deck. Uh, and Level Ball as well. Um, does the same thing, Level Ball gets every card out of the deck. And it was like, okay, how, how best do I put these things together? How do I refine it in such a way that I can make it as um, efficient as possible and consistent on turn one as much as possible? I don't like the supporter that I have, the Professor, but I also haven't seen anything that does the job better. Like, I really do need something that gets energy out of my discard pile and into my deck and also maybe draws cards. Um, so maybe I need something like that. Also, I'm not sure. I am hoping to figure it out over, you know, playing more and learning what more of the cards do. But as an exercise for me as a designer, uh, it's just been really interesting and, and kind of exciting, and I'm looking forward to learning more about um, playing the Pokemon TCG. And if you're hoping to see more content like that on the channel, say something. Most of what I have up on here is Marvel Snap, um, Magic the Gathering historic format, and a whole bunch of my devlog stuff um, which has content kind of like this, which is about me creating games and the kind of things that I do as a designer to keep my skills sharp. So if you're interested in any of that, I'm going to have some buttons up on the screen for you to click on. But the one button on the screen that's always there for you to click on is the subscribe button. And hitting that one helps me out a lot. So hopefully I'll see you in maybe some more Pokemon content coming up. Let me know if you're keen for something like that.